Hello students, welcome to study life. In the previous video, we have discussed about the method of preparation of alkyl halides from alkenes. And there we left a question asking why 2 bromopropane is the major product and 1 bromopropane is the minor product for the reaction that we discussed. So we will continue to the answer to the same question. The answer is given by yes, the topic is marconi cobbs rule. So let's begin with the topic of marconi cobbs rule. So what basically is marconi cobbs rule and how does it decide the major product of the reaction? So the reaction we need to again figure it out once again the same reaction that is CH3 CH double bond CH2. So this is the alkene that is propene we are talking about plus HBr. So this propene reacts with HBr. So when propene is reacting with HBr very important thing as I already mentioned that there are two possibilities of the product. So what are, what are those two possibilities of the product that we will discuss one by one. Now in the first possibility as already we said that one possibility is that Br is going to get attached to CH. That is first possibility. The second possibility I will be talking about is wherein Br gets attached to the another compound that is CH2. So here I'll put it like this, we are getting attached to CH2. All right, so here Br for CH, another possibility, Br getting attached to CH2. So let's start with the first possibility where Br gets attached to CH. So what will be the product? Yes, refer to the color, CH3, CH, we are getting attached here. And then you have another H left out. So Br already is attached, what is left out? H that H will combine with CH2 and that gives you the formation of here CH3 that is the number of bonds are reduced. Since it is addition reaction, since the addition takes place, the number of bonds are reduced. So this gives you the formation of CH3, CH, Br, CH3 and this is called as 2 bromo propane. Let's go to the next one. Yes, already we have discussed this. It is the major product. So this is the major product. Generally we call it 80% and minor we call it 20%. So that is how the ratio goes ahead with. The next one here it is for the next compound. CH3, CH. Now H is left out here. This H will combine with CH and that will give you CH2. So this is CS3, CH2, single bond. Now this is already a CH2 we have. So this will be here CH2 and Br. Now the name of this compound, yes, this is the first carbon here. So this is 1-bromopropane. This is called as 1-bromopropane. And this is obviously the minor product. That is 20% concentration. So major product and minor product. Now coming back to the basic discussion, why major product and why minor product? Already we have discussed that when this addition is taking place, this is Br can get attached at any of the positions across the double bond. So that means if an unsymmetrical alkene, so this is what alkene am I talking about? I am talking about unsymmetrical alkene. So this unsymmetrical alkene reacts with unsymmetrical reagent. This is reacting with unsymmetrical reagent. Now which is my unsymmetrical reagent? Yes, HBr. HBr is my unsymmetrical reagent. How it is unsymmetrical? Yes, because H it is plus and Br it is minus. So H plus Br minus. So unsymmetrical alkene reacts with an unsymmetrical reagent. Now when this reaction takes place, then what happens? Then the negative part of the reagent. What is that part? Negative part of reagent. Now which is my negative part of the reagent? Br minus. That negative part of the reagent attaches to the carbon. It gets attached. It is attaches to the carbon of which carbon? Now this is the carbon of carbon carbon double bond. Now there is no attachment with this carbon. Very clear. What happens? It is attaching to the carbon of this carbon carbon double bond. So when an unsymmetrical alkene 
reacts with an unsymmetrical reagent, the negative part of free agent attaches to the carbon of carbon-carbon double bond. This is carbon-carbon double bond. Which carbon-carbon double bond? That contains, yes, this is where the basic concept is. That contains, what does it contain? Less number of hydrogen atoms. So here it is CH, here it is CH2. So here it is only one hydrogen. Here there are two hydrogen atoms. So this Br is going to get attached to CH. That is, that contains less number of hydrogen atoms. This is what is the basic idea. This is what is the basic concept of Markovnikov's rule. So what are the keywords in this? When an unsymmetrical alkene, that's the first important word, reacts with unsymmetrical reagent. Now I hope you know what is unsymmetrical reagent. Here it is HBr, H plus Br minus, unsymmetrical reagent. Then what happens? The negative part of the reagent that is Br minus. The negative part of the reagent attaches to the carbon of carbon-carbon double bond which contains less number of hydrogen atoms. So it is attaching with that carbon of carbon-carbon double bond which contains less number of hydrogen atoms. And this is what is called as Markovnikov's rule. And this is the reason why 2-bromopropane is the major product and 1-bromopropane is the minor product. So I hope you have understood what is Markovnikov's rule. In our upcoming videos, we'll be talking about the next rule that is anti-Markovnikov's rule and we'll be discussing the further preparations of halogen derivatives. So students, stay tuned with study life. Thank you. Thank you.